Hello everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw Eleven Season 2. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll see a link that you can click on, a timestamp, that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. There's also going to be one for color. So for those of you that are sticking around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. So I know the pose I want to do. I just got to see if it's possible. So what I'm going for is the final, uh, final boss battle. So at the very end when she's closing the, uh, the portal. Oh, spoilers. If you haven't watched it, hopefully you have. I assume that's why you're here because, uh, You've watched it, you like it, and you want to draw 11. Um, so, uh, yeah, so the, the, the final one where she's floating. Well, is she floating? Well, I can't even remember anymore. I'm imagining she's floating. And you know what? I'm going to draw her as floating. So she's floating now. Um, so, yeah, just that final battle. I, I, like, I like her, you know, holding her hands up in that final battle pose. Just, uh kicking butt you know so hmm that hand looks off already so let me erase that real fast let me see what I'm doing wrong oh you know what I need to stop focusing on that I, I say this a lot when I'm sketching and I'm 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 scolding everybody else so I should I should do the same thing I say don't focus on the little details because you need to to get the pose down first you know because if I were to focus on that, that hand the entire time and uh, and it didn't work and then I this this doesn't work and I got to redraw the whole thing, I just wasted all that time on that hand. And now that I'm looking at it too, I wanted it at a different angle. I wasted all that time on that hand and it could have been, I could have done, uh, I wasted time. There's, there's no other way about it. I, I should just pay attention to, to drawing, getting it right, and then... Uh, working on the detail and that's what I'm always telling you you kids too that uh, don't don't focus on that stuff get it right then you can worry about it okay I like that so I started I started adding a little detail because um, I liked where it was going and I'm very happy with the pose And so, sorry, I got a little quiet there. Sometimes I do that when I start having fun and enjoying what I'm doing. Um, so now I just got to figure out the, the floating pose for this end. And, uh, and get us going. So, let's see. So I want to do kind of a... I want her jacket to be kind of flowing. So, <coughs> excuse me. Another another technique we're going to be playing around with here is we're creating movement with uh, the flowing jacket. So see, it's kind of flowing up. Well, maybe you can't see. You will see that it's kind of billowing, almost kind of like a cape, uh, to to provide the the movement to provide us uh, mobility, even though. She's just standing there, you know? So we're kind of catching a moment, catching a, a moment in time that's that's uh, uh, an action pose where a lot of stuff is ha happening. <laughs> Did you hear the way I almost said that? A lot of stuff is happening. Um, but we can't convey all that with, uh, with her just standing there. So we're doing that with... Um, trying to make this stuff flow you know that's that's what we're going for here so a little a little bit of a of a um art lesson i guess i don't really consider these art lessons i just consider hey i just like drawing and you like drawing let's draw you know this is all my friends getting together and we're all gonna draw some fun stuff um so i don't really consider these lessons you know, this is more like, hey, watch me draw, you know? 
So there's a little bit of a lesson for you, saying, you know, we're gonna we're gonna play around with with uh, movement or material to create movement, you know. Okay, so that hand is all super sketchy, but it's got the right idea. Again, that's what a sketch is. So I'm I'm good with that. I'm gonna leave that like it is. I'm just gonna just gonna uh, flesh out a few little things, and then I'll come back with the sharpie to to define a few things. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so this hand over here, let's see how I wanted to do it. I kind of want something like this. And again, I went super quiet there, huh? And I gotta keep it a little thin, a little small, a little tiny, because I'm not doing gigantic monster hands. I'm doing uh, petite, demure, uh, in so many words, a child's hands, you know? That's what she is. She's young, she's adolescent, uh, and and I'm not drawing big monster hands, you know? So I just gotta remember that whenever I, I start going crazy, and I wanna draw all the monsters, and the, and the horns, and the, and the, and the, uh, the fur and the, the, I don't know, I'm just being silly. Okay, so let me find a good picture of her angry face. That's a pretty good one right there. Let's see if we can do something like that. And a lot of times, kind of like when I do the Fortnite characters, I'm just looking at pictures of, of the actual, like, character or, you know, um, uh, movie star, you know, act actress. And I'm just trying to take those features and put them into this pose, you know? Like, I'm not looking at a picture of uh, Eleven in this pose. I'm looking at, um, what's her name? Uh, Bobby, Millie Bobby Brown. Um, so, yeah, so I'm trying to, to just kind of emulate what she can do. like that um and so also what i'm going to have to try to do is i think i'm going to do uh the um the color uh like her her you know how when she 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 got all punk rock with her uh uh eyeshadow and all that stuff uh, i think i'm going to do that with color so i'm not going to worry too much about that here you know And then I got to try to figure out how to make it look like her hair slicked back, ink-wise. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty good right there. But I gotta have her looking this way, like that. Perfect, okay, I'm very happy with this. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna erase some of these lines just so it's a little lighter because I'm gonna switch over to Sharpie and I don't want the pencil lines to stand out over the Sharpie. So since I got my sketch, I know what I'm doing, I know where I'm going, and I know what I'm seeing. So I'm just gonna lighten it up, okay? If you're working with pencil, you don't have to do this. You know, obviously you don't wanna draw it, then erase it, then draw it, then erase it. I'm just doing that for the Sharpie. <laughs> okay. All right, Sharpie, sharp, sharps. Let's, uh, you guys ready? to welcome all the skippers, all the people that, that skip to this part of the section. I appreciate anybody watching any part, so I'm not making fun of anyone, I just like to call people skippers. Okay, here we go, let's welcome them. Welcome skippers, those of you that skip to the Sharpie portion of the video, welcome. I appreciate you watching any part of this video. So I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. I've already sketched out my entire thing, then I erased a little bit of it, so I know it's kind of thin and light and it'll be making, uh, it, it'll stand out more once I start using this. So, so here we go. So I'm gonna use the Sharpie pen first so I can do some of the finer details. And I have her in that, that final fight pose. Uh, hopefully you've seen this. I already said this in the sketch part. Hopefully you, you're, you're caught up and you know where we are. I'm not spoiling anything, I hope. So I've got her in kind of an angry pose. So let's see if I could pull this off. So I'm gonna draw her, the top of her eyes. She's kind of looking this way a little bit. Does that make sense? This is your face. I kind of have it angled like that. So I'm gonna draw the top of her eyelids like this first. And that's just to see if I've got her in the right position. Yeah, not bad, not bad. But also I gotta remember that I have her angry. You know, it's kind of, 
looking off to the side and brow furrowed. What I mean by that is it's kind of going off like that. So see, it's that, that whole, uh, um, like that. Okay. So, um, I'm going to draw a little bit of the bottom of the eye, but also what I was saying, Oh, you know what? I'm going to draw some pupil right here too, just to, just to make it come alive. Not too much because these things bleed. So I'm just going to draw a little bit over here. And so here's the trick too, is I can't draw too much because of these Sharpies. They bleed a lot, but I just want to use regular Sharpies so you guys can, can follow along and use what you have at your house too. So I'm going to kind of, uh, give her a little bit of like a cat eye. I do this a lot with the girls just to, to show that it's a, a girl with pretty lashes, you know, because these things bleed so much. It's kind of hard. I'll add just a little bit. But see, I'm afraid to go any further because it's going to start to bleed everywhere, you know? Um, so I'm going to give her a little bit of eyebrow like that, kind of going over. Oops, that's kind of too much. There we go. We'll kind of work that into the eye like that. And do this. And I'm just kind of playing around with, with uh, um, the shapes of that, that are on her face. I can't put everything in, and I'm not going to do all the smudgy uh, mascara that she has underneath because I want to do that with color. So I'm just going to kind of accent the brow that I had here. And I'm going to kind of do one of these, a little, a little bit of comic book of bur furrowed brow, you know, just to kind of give her that angry face. Okay. I can bring this in just a little bit just to kind of balance them out. All right. So I can kind of see that I've shifted over a little bit from where I was going. So I have to calibrate to my drawing. So I'm going to draw her nose like this. And that's just, just working with what little I can, because like I said, it's going to bleed if I go too far. So I'm just kind of playing around with some shapes just to kind of give her that, that nose shape. I can't go too far. I'm going to do that at least to give her a little bit of a nose, but that's as far as I can go because like I said, these are going to bleed everywhere. So let's see if I can make this mouth work. I got to move it all over. So I kind of do like that. Okay, and I'm going to have her mouth open when she's, you know, yelling like that. Okay, so I'm going to try to give her a little bit of a lip like that. Nothing too crazy, but I don't want to give her like lipstick, you know, so I'm just trying to do like that. There we go. I like that. You can see some of her teeth, so we're going to put those in like that. And then you can see her bottom teeth. So if you could put those in, great. If not, don't worry about it. Don't, don't freak out about that, okay? So let me re-sketch a few things real fast, just because, I, like I said, I shifted the whole thing over. I didn't mean to do that, but I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm recalibrating to, uh, to make this work. Okay, still a little bit too, too much over that way. There we go. That's what it needed, the hairline. Okay, so, all right. So now I'm just gonna give her her chin like this. I'm gonna work my way back up and do the other side as well. I'm gonna thicken this line up a little bit because I'm starting to uh, move to the uh, time where I'm gonna use the big Sharpie and that's a lot thicker. So I'm trying to match what's about to happen, basically. And also it's letting, it's allowing me to play around with uh, um, uh, reshaping the face. You know, so like when I'm off, I can come back and, and mess around with this just a little bit more. And, uh, and fix it, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so our head's kind of angled down a little bit like that. So I'm just trying to fix that, trying to make it work a little bit more. And so now I'm just gonna try to play around with some hair. I'm not gonna draw all of her hair, but uh, I'm gonna do some of it and I want to. I want to so bad because uh, hair is such a fun thing to draw, you know? I think I see what part of the problem is. So I'm gonna try to fix it like that. One eye is a little higher than the other. And that's what I was always trying to avoid 
with uh, with where I put them. So I'm gonna try to fix that real fast to see if I can, you know, lower it just a bit. I'm losing a little bit there, but I think I can make that work. I think that'll work like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw her hairline is something like this. And her hair's, you know, uh, tight back because of her cool punk rock look, you know? So I'm trying to do a little bit of, 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 of slick back hair, but not all of it. Like I said, a lot of it's gonna be done in color anyway. Oops, that's a little too thick there. That's okay, we'll make it work. Okay, so something like that. You know, we'll just sort of play around with some lines, not all of them. And I'm gonna use thickness to, to, to make that stand out a little bit more. Um, because, uh, like I said, I'm about to switch over to the other Sharpies and you're gonna see a huge difference. Okay. Just playing around with some hairlines like that. And I don't wanna to go too crazy because like I said, uh, color is going to take care of a lot of this and some of this is going to disappear completely too. So she's got a black shirt on underneath her black coat. So it's going to kind of all disappear and get muddied in here. So I'm going to try to uh, make this stand out. And let me just do something like this real fast just to, just to darken that up. Just to make me happy. Okay, I like that. I like this. Okay, all right, so here we go. So now I'm gonna switch over to the big Sharpie and see if I can make this work. So I'm gonna say that her, let's see, her, her shirt and her neck are kind of covered up like that because it's kind of pulled up because her shoulders are up too. So she's got her jacket kind of like a collar. I'm gonna do something like this. And again, remember, or maybe you didn't hear because I, was, I said this in the sketch, I'm flowing her jacket out to create some movement so I'm kind of doing something like this, and I'm trying to work fast because these Sharpies will bleed. So I'm trying to play around with the edges and uh, what I can do and make it work. Okay, and her jacket's all, 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 all rolled up like that. So I'm just gonna add a few little crease lines, of thin ones with uh, this thin Sharpie just to make it uh, stand out just to give it some contrast, okay? Something like that. And that's just to show that her sleeve's all bunched up. Okay, so I'm gonna draw her hand kind of out. This one's closer, more at you than this one. It's kind of like, like this, okay? Think of it that way. So this one you're, you're seeing foreshortened, this one you're seeing straightened out. So this one's gonna be, I'm gonna draw her hand first just to help us uh, get a, a, an idea of where everything is. So again, I gotta try to draw it super thin and, uh, and not monster style. Something like that. It's a little off. It could be better. It could definitely be better, but, uh, but I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm gonna draw the back of her hand. So see, does that make sense now? It's kind of like foreshortened and straight at you. And I like, uh, I like to draw um, hand lines, uh, creases, you know, um, what do you call them? Your, your, your hand, palm prints, you know, all that stuff. This is a bit much, I shouldn't have done that much, but I can make it work. I think it works like that. Okay, so let's do the other side too. So I'm gonna do the same thing, kind of a jacket, kind of floating off, kind of uh, something like that, just creating some movement. I'm gonna draw her collar and the edge of the jacket, something like this. So see how this is starting to bleed, that if I don't go fast, that too, you know, it, it starts to bleed a little too much. I'm gonna bring this one in too, just to give us some edges. And now I'm gonna work on this arm. So this one has, has got, you know, more of a, a space out this way. Again, her sleeves are kind of rolled up. So I'm just kind of doing something like this. And her, her shoulder pads are, shoulder pads are riding high. 
Boy, back in the 80s, there's shoulder pads and everything. It's crazy. You're, you're, you're lucky we're not going through that. But it's, it's kind of like you look at it now and you're like, why did you guys ever think that was good looking? You know? I mean, hey, it's all we had, you know? We didn't know any better. Stop making fun of us. Okay. So now I'm going to draw this arm. Just the same thing, but sticking out. So her forearms over like this. And there's her wrist to the forearm to there. And then there's like the crook of her arm, just something like that, you know, just to give it a little bit of, of uh, breaking up the monotony, you know? Okay, so this hand is kind of doing something like that because she's in her superpowers, you know? She's in 11 mode. She's in a world saving mode, you know? So I've got one finger back like this, just kind of all cuckooed. And all this one all crazy cockeyed like that but this one they're starting to just hang down now like that boy i'm telling you drawing fingers with sharpies is hard so see how it's all the same thing there it's not it's not perfect sometimes sometimes it doesn't work out you know and sometimes you gotta just work with what you got and and say you know what it's good enough i'm happy because you know like i said it's sharpies and i'm trying to Trying to make it work for you guys. All right, something like that, that's good. Okay, so now we just gotta draw her clothes. And so I got her, her shirt just kind of tucked into her pants, something like this, like that. And so now we're just gonna draw her pants. And so we're just drawing these old 80s pants, just being old 80s pants, just hanging out saying, hey, what year is it? 80s, awesome, here's your pants, okay? And she got them kind of rolled up over here. So we're doing something like this. Get this one rolled up too. All 80s fashion rolled up. All right. Pretty good, pretty good. See, that part's easy. That part's hard. That part's easy. <laughs> but you know why? Because we see hands every single day. So we don't think anything about it. We're like, okay, that's a hand. But the minute you draw it, if it's not right, it's uh, that's what the uncanny valley is. That's why uh, um, it's hard to actually get like uh, 3D pictures, like creating 3D models. It's hard to get them to look accurate because you could tell, you're like, look, I see this every single day. That's not right. And so it's super, super hard. So that's why it's called the uncanny valley. Um, okay, so now we're just gonna draw her See what she's got. She got like socks, or she got like yeah, like these bunged up, rolled up socks onto her ankles, something like that. We'll do the same thing over here. And I just got them kind of, kind of messed up. You know, they're a little, little loose, a little wangly dangly. You know, something like that. And then we're just gonna draw her chucks, her old infamous chucks. Okay, and we're not going to do much more because uh, color is going to take care of stuff for the, most of that. But it's chucks. You don't do much to them. You just you wear them. You hang out. You look cool. You know. Let me just fix something like that. And then there's a little tread on the back side. So there you go. Yeah, I say that's good. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that. Is 11 season 2 so here is my colored version you could do it however you like I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it if you'd like to color it like this you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used or you can just make it your own remember this is how I draw you draw how you draw don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw plus don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video